do you believe the party as it's constituted today with the you know the budget we have and the people we have and the program we have do you honestly believe that we can deliver 54 seats in 2011 I've asked myself that same question and it's a difficult question and you know if I have to look into my own heart of hearts I have to tell you I don't think we're there yet but we need to be there and we need to be there and we need to embrace change and do the things that are necessary to get us from a party with 10 members to a party with at least 54. I grew up not very far from here in a place called Regent Park. I'm sure all of you know it well. I went to Jarvis Collegiate just a block from here. This was my community. It's where I grew up and it's where I learned everything I think that was important in life. And one of the key lessons I learned very early was that the NDP was the only party that spoke for me and the only party who spoke for people like me who grew up poor in Regent Park. It was later on in life that I discovered that, uh, you know, as I got a little older, that the NDP didn't just speak for me, but the NDP spoke for everyone. The NDP spoke for new immigrants. The NDP spoke for Aboriginal peoples. The NDP spoke for people in the North, people who were disenfranchised, people who were poor, even spoke sometimes for people who were rich. And, you know, we need to look into our heart of hearts and determine what we want from the NDP and where we want to go. I think the time has come for us to embrace change. I think the time has come for us to look and see exactly where we want to go as a party. And I believe that I am the person to lead that change. As you heard, I was the last mayor of East York. And as you might know, it was very difficult times when I became the mayor. And I developed an economic policy and a city's policy that I'm still very proud of today. A policy that took a declining economic situation in East York and rebuilt it. So that in the five years that I was the mayor, we didn't have to raise taxes once. In the five years that I was the mayor, we paid down all of the debts. In the five years that I was the mayor, we built a daycare center and community centers. We did all the things that were necessary, brought in new industry and a new industrial base to East York, which is still there today. We used it through the modern thing then of fiber optics in bringing in uh, cartooning and filming and computerization. What I did there, I believe I can do in Ontario. I am running here because I think the key issues are the economy and cities, and cities how they relate to the economy. I don't think that there's other, I mean, other issues are important, but unless you have an economy that works, how do you pay for poverty reduction? How do you pay to clean up the environment? How do you pay to, uh, to do the things that New Democrats dream of doing? I think we need to go that way. I believe with all my heart that the key to the future and the election of this party is to become an urban party, whether it is in Toronto or Mississauga, whether it is in London or Kingston or Thunder Bay or Timmins or Sudbury, it doesn't matter. We need to become an urban party. We need to champion the urban ideals that only New Democrats can stand for. We need to talk about mass transit. We need to talk about uh, the rebuilding of our infrastructure in every single town and city and in all the uh, outlining, outlying regions to each of them. But we need to talk about things that grab people. We need to start talking about property tax. We pay the highest property tax in the world and the cities cannot continue to go on with those. We need to start talking about letting the cities run their own show. And the first thing I would do as Premier is abolish the Ontario Municipal Board. And I'm telling you because that's something that needs to happen. We need to give the cities that kind of power and structure that they can form the crucible and become the dynamic portion of what is necessary to rebuild the economy. Certainly thinkers like Richard Florida have, are pointing in that direction and I think he and Jane Jacobs and others who've talked about that are absolutely right. In order to do that we are going to have to be a party that really reaches out to people. We are going to have to rebuild a party and its membership. We're going to have to attract the young. We're going to have to bring people in from Andy to work at Queen's Park. I mean, the other parties do it. We don't. We're going to have to start funding that. But most importantly, we're going to have to be a force in all 107 ridings. The last election, we ran candidates seriously in 15. We need to run them in all 107. Obama showed us the way. Cede nothing to the Republicans, he said, and he ceded nothing. And he made the Republicans work for every single vote they got. We need to do the same thing here. I said, am I about to get the hook? Okay, no, not yet. Okay, we need to do the same thing here. We need to, uh, to make sure that we are running candidates seriously and that our goal cannot be 10 seats or 12 seats or 15 seats. Our goal can be nothing less than 54 seats. I believe that I am the candidate who is uniquely positioned to do that. Having been the mayor and having run in successive elections, I get 
landslide victories in places like Leaside. And if we can win in Leaside, I'll tell you, let me tell all of you, <laughs> if we can win in Leaside and I can win in Leaside, then we can win in places like Kingston and London. We can win in places that are much more difficult. I'm asking you to consider me to look, to look what you really want. If you really want to be a government, I think I'm the guy to do it. Uh, we've only got a few minutes. We have a website, Proof for Leader. Please look at it. I promise if you support me in this cam next campaign, we are going to reach out to make those improvements and do those things. And I promise you, results we've never had before.